Stevie Wonder since 1978 and as a result I was on the 1980 tour when Gil came on as support. Um, the Martin Luther King campaign was obviously um, originally actually the brainchild of a congressman called John Conyers and Stevie decided to help to revive it and we built the, the campaign, both the album and the tour, around the beginnings of the push for Martin Luther King's birthday holiday and um, although obviously you know, Gil wasn't involved right at the start. He became a sort of an integral part of the of the tour and whole spirit of the of the movement. Uh, it was a pretty amazing tour because some very strange things happened in the course of it. One of the things I remember was, of course, John Lennon got shot. I remember the night when that happened when Gil, Gil was on stage because um, what happened was in the in the afternoon uh, we got notification. We, I, I actually got a phone call from. Uh, New York TV station to say what's Stevie Wonder's reaction to uh, the murder of John Lennon and we didn't know you know because we were on we were on the west coast and it happened on the east coast and I remember it's just the strangest show that was the probably the strangest show I've ever been on because we knew the audience didn't know and so both Gil and Stevie had to perform the whole night knowing about John Lennon's assassination but not actually telling the audience till the very end and we actually have, have some footage, I remember, of, of, uh, of Stevie trying to tell the, the audience at, at the end of the show and just breaking down in tears. Um, you know, it was a, it, obviously a very emotional time, and it was a very, um, it was a pretty amazing tour. I also remember um, Thanksgiving, because Gil invited us all to his house. We spent Thanksgiving at his house in Washington, D.C., which was uh, really nice. Um, as far as Gil is concerned as an artist, um, I was obviously aware of him before he joined the tour and what I particularly remember, I remember hearing the song Johannesburg. This is actually before I started work with Stevie, this is probably around about 1973 or thereabouts and just being amazed that any American artist was conscious enough to have any knowledge of what was going on in South Africa at that time and um, you know, so when Bob Marley wasn't able to make the tour, and he was, was suggested. I was very strongly in favour of it, and um, you know he did a great job. It was a, it was a really, really good tour. Yeah, very, very well balanced. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be brought to you by Xerox in four parts without commercial interruptions. 